Luciana yeah. against Leona Kaisa. Okay, so you said you haven't have time to play too, too much League in the last couple of uh, weeks. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I haven't played too much. I've like played like one or two games a day, but it's not like an insane amount. Okay, and did you? So not at all, not even with the team, right? Uh, so we did. Yeah, yeah, I've done some scrims and some uh, a match with them. Okay. Um, okay. which went okay. Okay, that sounds good. Sounds good. And Jana, why, why Jana? Did you pick Jana because you saw the matchup, or did you just feel like playing Jana? Uh, I was first pick, and I didn't want to first pick Blitzcrank. <laughs> mm, I see. I see. I see. I see. Okay, okay, that sounds good. And what what are the picks that uh, they can pick if you pick Blitzcrank? Uh, like any really non enchanter at the moment, like Cleona, um, or Nautilus or stuff like that. Tam okay. Kench. I know Tam Kench isn't like a super meta support. Um, okay, but, okay. Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah, usually when you play when you play Blitzcrank, like it really depends on the the ADK anymore, the matchup because Nautilus is winnable, Trash is very winnable, Tamkench is relatively winnable. You know, Liwana is mm, it's okay. You know, you can play around it. Just because if they have Liwana and Kaisa and you just hook Kaisa, I mean, it's just it's just easy. So with Blitzcrank, yeah. it's okay. It's okay as a blind pick. I mean, Janna is always good as a blind pick. It's really what you feel like uh, playing. Um, okay, good. So you picked, you you did that. Usually Alistar is like very, 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 very into play, by the way. Alistar is like really focused. Because you hook Alistar, he's going to knock you up in, into his AD carry. So that's yeah. the, the yeah. problem. Okay, so first picking, first picking Janna. First of all, let's go step by step. Ezreal, Janna. Um, this matchup, what do you think about this matchup? Ezreal, Janna against Kaisa Um as long as we don't die too much, it should be fine because we like we outscale them. Although I'm not actually sure about them. with the Kaisa's new build, the on hit build, the they, on -hit build she is. might outscale, but I don't think they do because we have Janna. Okay. Uh, in bot lane. Good. So your Eddie is on steroids. Okay. Good. So we want to make sure we don't die. They also have the Liwana. We know that Liwana is like strong champion early game. Uh, good engage. Uh, and obviously, Kaisa is a bit stronger than Ezreal early game, especially with an engaged support. So you just want to play chill. And this is why you took Exhaust right here? I mean, uh, here uh, Exhaust. Yeah, I, t I, well, I normally take heal on Janna. Um, okay. Because I just think it's better than the other summoners on her. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> okay, so you usually in competitive, it's always better. That's right. In solo queue, it depends. With an Ezreal, yeah, I will take heal. Uh, like if you have a carry, like a Vayne, Twitch, Kogumo, I would probably take heal. If you have a winnable lane, like if, let's say you have a good matchup and a kill pressure lane, let's say you have like a Draven or... I think I think getting Ignite is super, super, super good as well. Like it depends on the matchup. Against Leona, Kai'Sa, with an Ezreal on bot, you're probably not going to look to kill them. Just maybe like poke them a bit. So heal is like super, super good here. Um, okay. okay, that sounds very, very good. So heal is very, very good. Um, tell me a little bit about this matchup, uh, Leona, Janna first. Uh, Leona can't really do anything, as long as, like, True. I don't in my keys. <laughs> yeah, it's, just, it's, like, a bit unplayable for her, I'll be honest. I mean, you know, maybe yeah. if she flash queues you and then ease you or something like that, but even then, you can just queue instantly flash out. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a difficult matchup. It's a difficult matchup for sure for her. Uh, and what do you think about Ezra Kaisa? Um, I think it's probably, like, okay for Ezreal, because he's never going to get isolated queued or anything in the early game he's just okay. gonna poke with cues exactly. um, they'll like probably have push because the kites are quite good at pushing but exactly especially um, with halo blades I... especially against ezreal yeah yeah okay true 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 and one more thing when does the ezreal power spike in the lane so not one item two items Earlier than that. So, uh, Kai uh, Kaisa so is... when he's got Sheen perfect, tier, right? Perfect, perfect, perfect. So you have a champion on bot lane when he has Sheen tier. Until that, you know, it's a bit of poke, but I would really call it like a very good like OP champion in early game if he doesn't have the Sheen. And Kaisa, either Dirk, Runequiver, we already know. It. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So there are a lot of like, things that we need to discuss right here in this game, already in the early game. So hopefully we're going to have time to do the whole game. Uh, so we can go step by step. So I really like that you... So why did you get Glacial here? And not Aerie. You know, um, Aerie and Glacial. Yeah, I, I tend to like... So the Leona, if she tries to E, 
I can queue and block breaks, and then she can't even just run at us and queue us. Yes, um, yes, 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 yes. And, so, like, I think it's also good against Kaiser. Yes, it's pretty good. Uh, Aerie is also an option, but since you have Glacial Augment, you want to go see in, in the late game, getting a bit of slow on the Cassiopeia is okay, getting a little bit of slow on the Nunu is okay, getting a little yeah. bit of slow on the Shen since he goes in, it's okay. So, it's overall a good Keystone. Of course, if you're playing against, let's say, you play Janna, and they have Ezreal, Yumi on bot lane, and then they have Zerat on mid lane, and then they have, like, uh, uh, Gragas on, on jungle and they have top lane something that you don't need glacial against and they have too much range like a Jace or a cannon uh, you should go Irie. Irie scales better uh, but glacial is most okay. of the cases better again as long as the enemy thing goes into it. very very Oop. important okay right now we go for this word uh, what tell me a little bit about this word like the advantages and the disadvantages of this particular word uh, well, because, like, Leona's not very strong at level 1. Like, Kaiser is strong at level 1. Uh, I wanted to get bush, bush control, so we weren't just sat under our tower the entire time. True. Um, True. Yeah. So, since Ezreal against Kaiser, Kaiser is a little bit stronger than Ezreal level 1, because she has Hello Blade, and Ezreal can only poke. Ezreal can still get prior over Kaiser if she uses, he uses the, the Qs on the minions. Janna is also very very good level 1 against Leona because obviously you're a range champion. So theoretically from a prior perspective you should get prior. They can also get prior if Kaisa is hitting minis with the Q. Uh, it's 50-50 but getting the word is okay in that case when you can get prior and you want to stay into the brush. The problem, the disadvantage is that you play against a Nunu. A Nunu that can kind of prank you from the river. So if it was me, I would, I would get the word down and get sweeper every single time when I win level 1 and I know that the enemy can't get prior. But I only do that okay. if the enemy can get prior and they have a non-early game jungle. Because even though you can get prior right here, if Nunu decides to gank you, we are screwed. Yeah. So this word is good if they have Shivana. This word is good if okay. they have Kartus. This word is good if they have Ramos or things like you're like, ah, oh, fuck this guy. He's just going to do full clear, like do his thing but against at least against Lee Sin, Zin Zhao, Jarvan, Nunu. Uh, things like that, I would not do it. Against Graves, Kartus, Shivana, you can do it. Okay. Just because, again, we kind of need this word to like put it like right here in case Nunu does something crazy there. So you go into the laning phase, you're chilling, just looking to punish, usually good positioning, really good Q right here. You do get the bomb plating here. Okay, so you missed the... Uh, yeah, I shouldn't have walked up for that last auto attack, but... Yes, yes, yes. So it's it's because uh, I don't think you wanted to. It's because you missed a little click here. Let's see. So let's see here. You Q, and then here I think it's like you're missing click. Like, you see how close you are? You missed a little yeah. bit of... Like, I think you clicked right here, and then you just missed the click. No problem. It happens, okay. it happens, it happens. And you just back and go, back and go, back and go. Thing into the fresh. Yeah, we got, we got 3D big chunk right here. That's not good. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So it's because of the misclick and yeah, we overtrade it a little bit. Try to nice try to Q here. It's okay to use your Q because Liwana doesn't have E level one unless she's crazy. Uh, so you can do that. Hitting the minions constantly is very very nice. You walk up into the brush and then you try to poke the uh, the Kaisa a little bit. That's very 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 nice. Super nice. Right here we're getting ganked. So here this is because of our word, right? Yeah. Because yeah, if we I'm had the word. word, if we had the word, we could have gone for a word. Now, after this, like, as, as Ezreal is getting these minions, you can just pat like this, put the word right yeah. here, and then back off. Okay. But so this is, uh, this is uh, preventable for sure. Again, Nunu did three camps into bot lane. Interesting, he did the red, he did uh, raptors, and then he did chrome gank. Very, very good by Nunu. And right here we have no flash on Ezreal, which is not the end of the war. I mean, he has one more flash, whatever. Uh, but yeah, still avoidable. And then this guy re -ganks. Trying to protect, beautiful kiting, beautiful kiting, this time it did not miss any clicks right there, played it good mechanically, and now we're chilling, we're going W level 2 in this specific situation, very good that he's trying to like bully, we wasted our Q, let's see how early your, your ignite is in this fight, so you should ignite now, you should heal now, uh, yes, now. yeah, right. I realized that after, yes. that, I realized it after the Leona ignited, <laughs> I was like, I should have healed earlier, <laughs> yeah, Okay, beautifully uh, exhaust by, by by the draw. Right here, you try to like use it good. Maybe you can actually get them. And then right here, you try to get this. They come up, I remember this play. They come up right yeah. here. You do have your shield. You didn't really shield yourself. You kind of got the uh, panic. Then you double, you shield yourself. And then right here, you back and go. Right here, you should have like flashed instantly. 
Yes, done that. I realized that after I died as well. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So we have some 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 um, some uh, mistakes in terms of mechanics. You're missing a few clicks, and we also have some uh, like flash mechanics, like reaction mechanics. Let's see what you're going to get right now. So twelve eighty one. Yes. Um, I. It's not that I didn't have the reactions to not flash. Oh, I, I made the decision not to flash. Okay, 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 I, okay. Yeah, it's the wrong decision to have made. <laughs> yes, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, right here, why did you go Kindle Gem? Uh, because it felt like the Nunu was just going to Giga Campus, and I just wanted True. to have the health to not die. And against Liwona Kaisa, this is Pogers. Yeah. This is Pogers. Even if you have like 500 gold and you can get Boots or Ruby, I would get fucking Ruby against Liwona. If you're, if you're sure you're going to die or if you play against a matchup where you know they're going to jump on you, getting this first or even getting Ruby first is, is no, no problem. Like it's it's yeah. okay. Uh, usually I will go I will go perfect timing here. Okay. Uh, just because it's good against Liwona Kai, so you can like prank them, you can dive them, you can just, you know, in a fight, the stuff which can help you. But again, yeah. it's not bad that you didn't opt for it. It's just a preference. Uh, I like that you go for the HP early one against the one uh, Kaisa. Really, really good. Right here. Any specific reason why uh, we didn't max our W? You know what you get by maxing W? Uh, yeah, I think it just. I think it gives damage and cooldown. Um, yes. The it's reason slow. I wasn't maxing W is because I didn't. I again, I just wanted the. The, the extra survivability. The scale, and let's chill, say, play safe, I protect Ezreal, we play chill. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. fine. I would still, so usually you go three points in W, so when you're in those kind of situations, I would still go two points in W and then full max E, because you know, uh, you never know how much how much this this extra extra damage of 300, uh, of 30, like can help you. So <laughs> I it, it's good thought process. I will do the same, but I will probably go two points in W, not three points in W. Three points in W is too much. I don't think you're going to win the lane or utilize the W anyways that much. So three points is overkill, but two points, you know, you can just two points it. Uh, I would almost always put two points in, in W. Okay. okay. So far, okay. Let's see this this decision. Okay, so we're chilling to the Q. Ooh, we didn't really have reaction right here. The Q is going to hit. You shield yourself as it goes in. Try to W, try to walk up really hard. Okay, then you flash beautifully. Nice play, don't die right here. Nice Q. You actually hit it. You shield your Ezreal very, very good. And you start pushing the wave. You start pushing the wave. Perfect. Then you recall, you ping the Ezreal one time. And how much gold do you have? 1k gold. Okay, so what are you going to get right here? Other than uh, maybe like super... That is a good question. I can't remember what I buy, but... <laughs> okay, so you get the Dark Seal, you get the... Okay, so right here you had 650, right? So let's see, so you bought that one. Boop, and... Fight! Okay, 563. Do you know how much gold you need for the Mirror Stone? Uh, 750. Exactly. So, in this specific situation, I would not go Dark Seal. And the reason why I would not go Dark Seal is because... Uh, in this specific case, what does Ezreal wants to do? Uh, he just wants to chill and scale. Oh yeah, in general, but at the moment, like you recall. What uh, he, 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 he wants to reset. He wants no. to reset, so you can go mid lane, just hit this this guy with the W, Q, then recall and get Moonstone. Okay. So the concept is that if you're super super close for an item, let's say 150, 200 gold. To, to your item, you should play for it. Not getting counter lords is okay. Not getting dark dark seal is okay. If you're like 200 away of your item, okay. Because you can go on lane, get it like hit them a little bit, just maybe steal a minion and then recall and get the real item. Because Moonstone is a real item. And okay. let's uh, let's okay. So you auto pilot a bit here with the padding. Okay, he stays. So then you you stay with him again. Padding should be mid lane as he's recalling, yeah. and when he stops recall, you just like go, go bot lane immediately. Uh, why did so you have Shurelia build, you have Imperial Mante build, and you have uh, Moonstone. Moonstone uh, and Shurelia are the best usually. So how do we choose between those? Do you do you ever go for? Uh, normally, I don't build Shurelias because I think the the healing in from Moonstone is just better normally. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. But you, yeah, you would go Shurelias if like you need to. Your team needs. The movement speed to actually be able to play the game. Um, 
Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So against team compositions like into like let's say you don't want to like let enemy team to go on top of you or you have a hacker him or like really good team composition like that in this team composition gangplank echo syndra ezreal jana against liwana kaisa cassiopeia nunu shen so again you can go shurelia if you you can actually allow your teammates uh, with that extra movement speed to get more kills or to, to, to be able to play the game or if you want to get shurelia to also make sure the enemy team doesn't get to play the game uh, that's also an option or so okay. very good option. So in this specific case, what do you think? Moonstone or Shurelia? Do we really need the Shurelia right here to allow our no, team? No, no, no. No, it's not. Right? Uh, Moonstone in this specific situation is, is better. Yeah. Okay, you try to go for like this room. Yeah. I didn't want to wait here too long, like, because I could see my Ezreal just not basing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he didn't base at all? Okay, he's like yeah. gold. Yeah, we were a little bit late to the party. I overall like the, the the try because Syndra has a lot of damage. Uh, you probably don't know how C new Syndra works, right? Uh, I have read the the patch notes. Okay, okay, that sounds good. That sounds good. So you put the word. Let's see how many seconds you stay here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so that's a bit too much. Uh, it's not too much that the game couldn't work. Uh, just because the wave is like really chill here, like it's it kind of even. So you need to think about a, a way so you can actually punish Syndra when she walks up for a CS. So what I will do here, if it was me, I would ping this minion, for example. I would ping okay. like this minion for Syndra. So then when when she walks up for the for a uh, for a minion, I will actually be ready to Q. So I will actually use the Q now, like right now, and I will predict that in two seconds she will walk up for this minion, and I will Q like this. See, okay. and I will ping. I will try to like channel my Q, then ping, ping this minion, then ping two times on my way, on my way, and try to prank her, and try to prank her as soon as possible. So then you can go to bot lane, because um, yeah. the wave is coming into them, right, into the enemy. So it's yeah. not like if you wait here, the wave is coming into us, and we're going to be able to kill her now. Like it's not okay. going to get better than this. The wave is coming into them. So this is why you should have gone now, and you should do like just ping this minion when she walked up. Like right now, imagine if we had your Q. Uh, you just try to queue her, and if she walks up for this this minion that are in the back, uh, we can we can do that. Like there, for example. We yeah. waited a little bit too much because if you do that properly, because you see you're trying to like do you're trying to go in yeah. at a very wrong time without utilizing the the fact that you have minions and you know that she will be walking up for the minions. Yeah, we could have been a little bit faster right here. Let's see how we play. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because okay, if I was here before very good, the very people good died. Yes, I think you can get minimum two kills right here. We can make the difference, we can make the difference. So it's basically map awareness, a bit of map awareness. Uh, not the map awareness, because map awareness was fine. But just the efficiency of ganking and like understanding how you wanna how you wanna do the gank. Yeah, okay. This no no really like okay, it's you guys. Yeah, <laughs> he really likes spotlight, doesn't he? And he's 1-4, <laughs> like he's like... Yeah. I mean, if he goes mid lane, he gets 2v2 by Syndra Echo. And if he goes top lane, he has a Shen against a GP. So it's like, it's the only way he, he wins the game. Very good. This is D3? Uh, I think it was D2. D2. D1? Okay. Oh, really? But that account is, is what, what the rank is? Account? Um, my account is D2 at the moment. Okay. okay, 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 okay. So let's see how we play this one. So in the beginning, you played it good, but I want to see right here. Okay, so you try to go on him, the guy dies, perfect, you shielded. Try to push, 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 push. We missed the NATO. Okay, we got the NATO on the Nuno, sure. Maybe that's who I was aiming for. I see, I see, <laughs> Definitely I see, I see, didn't see. just miss it. You <laughs> <laughs> played it overall good here. I like how you played it. Uh, okay. This NATO is, you know, we missed it. So this was yeah. one thing. Uh, the problem is that right now we have the Q, we have no Q, no W, no E, and we're walking up, we're walking up, we're walking up. This is okay if you're walking up, but not too close. For example, this is okay, this is bad, this is bad. Okay. The fact that you're auto-attacking here, you should kite back, kite back, kite back, kite back. Yeah. So you got a little bit too close to the guy, right here. Yeah, because my thinking of walking up was my Ezreal was walking up, so it felt like if I didn't walk up, they would just both go on him. Yeah. So I felt can... like I had to walk up with him, I see, but I just I walked up too far. Yeah, so here you can like walk up with him. So this is good, this is good, but don't yeah. go more than his line. Like this is Ezreal line. Like this Ezreal is right here. Don't yeah. walk up more than this line. Because okay. if you stay here, we're in trouble. 
Yeah. If you stay here, just, you have to stay just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit uh, below this line, like here or here or even here is a good position because you can yeah. hit, but you can always like run if anything crazy happens. Okay. Yeah. Imagine if we had two points in double, right? Yeah. Overall good play. Overall good play. You recall, then you stay good because he was doing Drake for some reason, but yeah, yeah you have to stay. Uh, in those kind of situations, <laughs> we didn't really know like how to position it. You should stay here, right here. Because you can't okay. go into the pit without dying, but you can shield the, the, the bro from over the wall and you can queue the, the, the Cassiopeia from over the wall. Uh, yeah. So yeah, th this kind of like uh, choke spot is uh, like we can't do anything. We can't even shield them. Look. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't play it too good right here. We didn't really Q. Didn't really. E. You had better games with Jana for sure um, okay. than this one. Okay, Syndra is recalling. You go towards bot lane. Sweeper. Uh, Champ tank petrifier. Why? Uh. Is that what I built? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, because new, new, uh, they have like an okay amount of healing with the the new new and the Casio. I thought. Okay, okay. Uh, are are you going to be able to hit Casio in team fights? Well, as long as I shield the the GP or the Ezreal, it will put it on her, right? Okay, okay, okay. So that's your your thinking, right? Yeah. Um, I see, I see, I see, I see. That's good. That's good. Uh. Usually in the situations where you don't really, really, really need it, I would probably go Redemption. Because Redemption okay. can work for GP, Syndra and Ezreal, you just like put it and like it's super good. Um, but I mean, Chemtech is like, uh, let's actually look at the, the stats as well, because the stats never lie. UGG, Janna. No, OPGG, Janna. Yeah, very good, very good. And did they build it in Korea as well? Let's see how west. Yeah, let's see Korea is different or what? Okay, uh, well, Korea, they build a little bit more Shurelia. Okay. I see, I see. Okay, that's good. Perfect. So, right now, what's your plan and how do, do the team compositions uh, should be played out right here, though? Uh, my plan is to stop the Leo Rush and the Nunu from getting to the Sindra and Ezreal. Exactly. I f yeah. Exactly. Uh, I think that's literally my only job. Yes, 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 yes. So if you completely screw up the Liwana after she engages, if you don't let Nono play the game by using your Q and R properly, and if you if you just cancel the taunt of the Shen uh, with your kit, it should be very, very simple to win this. Yeah. Very, very simple to win this. So if you do your job, our team composition is like really, really amazing. Yes, them. Okay. Like Liwana can't, shouldn't be able to play the game um, when you have uh, Ezreal. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So let's see how you play this one. So I want to see your position. So I, I all, played this fight horrendously, I think. So first of all, this is something that I also do and it's very bad. Like try to not shield when they are pushing the waves. Like here, I would not shield. This is good that okay. you don't shield because I mean, if you waste your shield and then a team fight breaks out instantly, you don't have your shield for six seconds. Yeah. And then this shield is also bad. Like remember that your shield is decaying shield. So it's yeah. better to just use your shield a lot more, let's say, reactively compared than just using your shield, uh, like, you know, just to anticipate that he's going to get pranked into the brush. So what okay. I will do is that I will let him get uh, get chunked. Uh, not get chunked, but I'll let him face check and if someone is there, then I shield exactly when he gets yeah. damaged. So you knew that uh, the, the shield is a decaying shield, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So if you shield now, and in two seconds he will face check the brush and he will get damaged, your shield is going to be less effective. Okay. Super important. So we should shield exactly when we need it and when the guy is getting like uh, damaged off. Yeah. Very important. Good pink cord. Gotta be very careful. So uh, let me show you one clip because I don't know if you know, but there are words right now. Um, yeah. 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 And the only support that I liked. Uh, Is Ming like the way he played Enchanters? Because the others didn't really perform uh, that well, in my opinion. But Ming, okay. 
Ming, he had, so I want to show you how you want to position it yourself as Nami. It's really, really crucial. It's really, really crucial. And you have to be what I call AFK playstyle. This is what you want to do with Janna. AFK playstyle is literally, you want to understand what the enemy uh, can actually throw to you and not get hit by that. Ming, as you can see, Gala was like really forward. This guy was really forward and he's behind them. And look how he plays the fight after. Look at his position. Look at him. Yeah. Look at him right now. This is the yeah. Janna position. I mean, right okay. now, obviously, he was really low, so it's even like he's like exaggerating a bit with the defensiveness. Um, but this, like, look at this. He's behind of the AD carry. Look, behind yeah. of everyone, yeah. staying max range, spacing, hitting the bubble, using the E, staying max range. This is really what you have to do as Jan. Not that extreme, you have to stay right next to your team because you will have full HP in the fight, but this is basically what I mean. Ming is like okay. a really, really smart player. Okay, let's see what we're going to do. Because right now, again, we sh we we wasted the shield as you can see. Yeah. And then right yeah. here we wasted the Q as well. It's really important to let them go in and then use your Q. It's either yeah. use your Q like that, or you just wait till you want to get a little bit close and then Q. Because if we wait Q like this, it's GG. Yeah, yeah. Then here you should like ulti instantly and run. So here you can see that um, uh, you know that there is a the, like Janna ultimate and you just keep it there or there is a uh, something that pro players do they just press R really fast and then they cancel yeah. the R just, yeah. just to use the R to knock them out this is what you should do you should R and then run instantly like here R stop it run like you should yeah. you see that you're using it a bit for healing and because yeah. you did that like right now you, you have a force of flesh the Q is much better here because you use it disengage wise the E is very very good because you use it for the damage so we're wasting a little bit too much the shields before the fight. Uh, positioning can be better. And yeah, we forgot to heal here. Well. Okay. Oh, and you're maxing Q second? Really? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what to max second, second on yeah, damage. Yeah, so, so. Dom, do you know how to do it? So right here, when you're like looking at your spells, you just press shift on them. And usually if you get cooldown slow or things like that, it's good. Yeah. But as you can see, Q. Damage per yeah. second charge, like, yeah. okay, mana cost, I mean, sure, mana cost, and then damage. But then if you look at W, whoop, passive movement speed, okay, damage, okay, decent, slow, okay, and then also mana cost. So it's yeah. like, that. that's how you decide. Just look at the spells and you, you ask yourself, hey, what do I need? Because it's not something good or bad, it's just you need to ask yourself, what do I need? What do I need? Or you can just copy yeah. UGG, but if you understand it, it's even better. Okay. Okay, that's very very good yeah so i think uh, overall let's see how you play these team fights i like that they're not really face checking yeah the positioning is uh, is better here staying behind of the ezreal if he wants to walk up like a really, really far away i mean yes, yes. he can do it you have your e be very careful with your positioning yeah i'm still too far forward here right, right. look at this so remember me yeah. right remember me he stayed like he stayed like what I call the FK playstyle. Like behind of the AD carry, like bronze bronze supports stay in the lane. They stay behind your Ezreal pushing the wave here and your Janna stays here. That's yeah. how we wanna play Janna in, in team fights in, in right here. Because they have Leona ulti, they have Cassiopeia ulti, they have no W. So the perfect positioning would be now. This is good. Okay. You stay like right here, you use Ezreal like a bait. Nunu will come up from here, go on the Ezreal, and then boom, you Q, you R, you just completely disengage. Problem is that if you get caught, no one can disengage. You're, you're just dead and Ezreal can't do anything. But if Ezreal gets caught, we can save the guy. Super, okay. super important. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like where, where I'm stood is kind of troll right now. Yes, yes, yes. And then here... Whew. I just walk into the skill shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it wasn't going to hit me and I was like, don't worry, Kaisa. I've got you. <laughs> here. Yeah. Very good Q. Then E is good. Okay, I think I think you you played it okay. Okay, let's see what you're going to do. You also for, so I have some situations when you're forgetting about the heal. Okay, so we take this recall. We go to mid lane. Very very good. Let's see, cause you you understood what to do in the in the team fights, but I want to see you positioning again. Is your positioning okay. feels a bit off this game? 
Okay. Okay, let's take a look at this. Yeah, I'm kind of just trolling. <laughs> so it's okay that I got the words. It's okay that I got a pink. Then Ezel gets a bit of prank here. We try to go towards him. This is good. Like right here, we can't really we can't really fight around this this place. GP yeah, stop. We should just leave. We should just leave. Echo is dead. Remember that this is what they want to do. Yeah. They want to catch you in tight spots. Kaisa is very, very, very strong. If they play slow against Syndra, Ezreal, Jan, it's GG, BG. They can't win. Yeah. In tight spots, if they get four men, you want to ulti into Kaisa ulti into Cassiopeia ulti, they can actually win the game. Yeah. So in this specific situation, like we should just like chill, stay behind of the they decayed just because right now we, we were too tunneled thinking, hey, I want to kill this guy, I want to kill this guy, I want to kill this guy, I want to kill this guy. When really what it is, it's, hey, what's my job in the game? Build Ezra. Yeah. Okay, what else? Well, build Syndra. Okay, what else? Well, make sure Syndra, well, make sure Liwana, Nunu, and Shen the, don't have the, a chance to play the game. Okay. Do I need to kill them? No. Do I need to do anything crazy? I mean, unless I know that it's going to be a really good play to flash ulti or do crazy play, I don't need to do a crazy play. I can just... Play it safe. Yeah. Interesting game. Interesting game. And you won this game, right? Uh, no, we lost this game. Wait, what? Really? <laughs> yeah, which is what. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure how. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, how? You're 7k gold ahead. <laughs> Holy! Yeah, I, I was geeky until it after this game. <laughs> no way. This is so crazy. Yeah, because like if I just did those like slight things we've already talked about, we would yeah. already be like at three yes, 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 and they wouldn't have three dragons here. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh shit. Okay, so right here, tell me a little bit more about. Uh, what do we need? What, what is our job in this specific chasing? Uh, I thought my job was to stop the help coming to the Shen from where the Leona stood right now. Okay, good. And right here, why did we shield? Why 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 did we shield Syndra? Uh, that is a very good question, which I do not right. know the answer to. <laughs> because your, your shield that gives sixty-eight. Yeah, yeah. Right. So Ezreal is going to have like. Right here, a lot more damage. Let's see if this makes a difference. Okay, it doesn't. Does, no, it doesn't make the difference. Also, be very careful with your words. If you put the one word right here, you shouldn't really put one more word right here. Um, just because if someone get, goes with sweeper, boom, boom, like yeah. he gets like yeah. two words just with one sweeper. So that's why when you're going to see in LCS, if they like what words or. If they wore the pixel brush, they don't wear this brush as well and this as well. No, yes, they want yes. the pixel brush and then they wore it here, and then they just put like one mid lane and one here. Like that's yeah. all. I, I don't know why I wanted that brush. <laughs> and they just oh, it rotated you, and they just like split push the whole game. I see, yeah. I see, I see, I see, I see. So let's let's go from twenty minutes game. So okay, let's see because this is a team team uh, thing. So it's not uh, only your bad. So what you could have done better in this game is positioning mechanics um, and a bit of awareness. Uh, also, like the the macro could have been better when you were ganking mid lane. But right okay. here they get uh, they get some random objectives, and I want to see how. Okay. Let's see. We're chilling. Okay, this mistake is pretty big, but you still have your summoner spell, so it should be okay. Then you go to mid lane with Ezreal. This is good macro. This is good that we're pushing. Okay, that we're going for the Drake. Playing around the Drake. They are grouping top lane for uh, one interesting reason. Okay, after they are grouping top lane, we're trying to get this uh, right here. 27 seconds for Drake. You guys are still staying around the Drake, which is very good. Right now, we try to get them away from the mid lane. Then Cassiopeia flashes out. This is all good. Kaisa decides to FK split push. It's okay. Not worried about this. This is very good play. Then we get Drake. GP is in base, so they're going to be trying to, to trade this. GP yeah. try to like uh, get this. Okay, so overall, overall okay, overall okay. So this is not bad. This is not bad. This is okay. Okay, wait. In one fight, and it's over. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. They they literally just end the game. But how did they get to bot lane? Dude? So they got top lane. Okay, we are mid lane, we got the Drake. 
we get a bit of words. I would put the word right here in mid lane as well. It's really good okay. to see like how many people are mid lane and to see if they siege. Kaisa is on the bot lane and then here, right here, okay, someone is pinging bot lane. You see Liwana, you're not sure what is going on right here. Kaisa yeah, I thought lane. we were fighting Vision over Baron, is what I, I thought was happening. Oh yeah, but there is no Baron, right? It's one minute, so it's not that urgent at the moment. Okay. It's not that urgent, yeah. I kind of just want to go bot here, but like I felt like I had to stay with the Echo. Let me see. So when does Ezra leave here? So we see only Kai'Sa bot. So if you only see Kai'Sa bot, it's absolutely no problem. The moment when you see Nunu, now you should think about batting. You should like danger, danger mid and then... Okay. Because Nunu is showing up, so they are trying to do something crazy right here. Interesting. Yeah. So this is right here, we should just ping danger, danger and not go in and like go with Ezra. And then yeah, like okay. the problem, because right now we have to stay. Right now we have to stay because yeah. he went in. Uh, the problem is that we didn't react to the map before. Okay. And you, right now you had to stay with the, with the echo. Very interesting way of uh, playing the game by the enemy team. Interesting. Interesting that this worked like this. Yeah, I think in the later stages could have been more reactive to what it was happening on the map. Okay, we had the flash, no, right? And we didn't really have ulti before. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, I think I had flash and ult, yeah. Oh really? Yeah. So if it was me, I, I think he played okay here in terms of like the Q. Uh, what it wasn't good, it was that it didn't really ulti properly. As in, look at this. So they get a hip. Beautiful Q on the no. Very yeah. good. You should ulti right, right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, get the Shen away from him. Because you get the Shen away and this is going to be your ulti. And Echo is going to go in, getting killed by your ultimate. Yeah. It's quite good. It's quite good. Yeah, yeah and then we forgot to yeah. flash and then... Yeah, yeah I see, yeah. I see. I think here we lost the game? So what if you're alive? Here? Echo has ulti. Yeah, we can, we can probably buy a lot of time if we're alive here with the Q. And with the R it can be very annoying. Yeah, okay. interesting, interesting. So this game was definitely very, very, very winnable. Very winnable. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, besides here, if you're looking to reach your desired rank on League of Legends, you have come to the right place. I have helped 2,500 of players reaching their desired rank from bronze all the way up to master players in all roles. Here is a glimpse of what I can do. Support main silver to platinum. AD carry main in diamond elo after one coaching. This is how gold AD carry's match history looks after my coaching. Silver AD carry main after getting coaching by me. Jungle main getting from bronze to gold after getting coaching by me. Mid lane main getting from platinum 4 to diamond 4 instantly after my coaching. Top lane main match history after getting coaching by me. So what are you waiting for? 1v9 your games and climb up the ranks now.